What's good, y'all? It's your boy Turn, man. We're back with another one. We got Ozark, man. Season 1, Episode 2. Episode 1 was really dope. Um, I like the character of Marty Bird, I think. Um, he's very smart. He thinks quick on his feet. And he loves his family. And now they're in a fucked up position. So he has to produce, man, to survive. So I can't wait to see what happens with that next. Um, please check out uh, the link in the description. Check out um, Living Decent website. Just scroll through, see if you see anything you like, man. It's a dope brand that just promotes positive positivity. You feel me? Some positive message, I should say. And yeah, man, let's get it. Facts. That's a fact. At times, there comes transition. a bit of a transition. Thank you, Wendy. And and whenever a small business transitions, it's important to stay lean and to not overextend. No one goes in that room whose last name is not Bird. Facts. Understood? Real shit. Just nod. Yeah. Thank you. Shall we? You know what, Marty? Before you get too comfortable up there on your cross and have your pity party, let me just let me just jog your memory for a minute. There was an innocent man who was murdered. Gary. Man, fuck that nigga. He was a good man. Man, fuck you. I would sm yo. He only did good things in this world, not like Bruce. Gary was a father. He had two groans. I know he loved them. And he was thrown off his balcony. Bro, I'd be done with her ass, bro. I on everything. People cheat. Bro, on the real, bro, we ain't got time for all this. Not exactly blameless in this. We ain't got no time for all this shit. As nice as possible, but as cheap as possible. I want you to start our home at 20,000. And we are not husband and wife anymore. We're just business partners. Oh. And our job's to raise those kids. Well, you're absolutely right that I share some blame for this. I should have caught Bruce. I was in charge of the numbers. I should have seen it coming. But my mind was elsewhere, Wendy. You know, it's Saturday night, and you're, you're foxy boxing, or you're Zumba, or <coughs> you're a few hundred dollars every single month. It ended two hours ago, and there's no Wendy. Why does she get so many texts every night? Why does she have to leave the room and make a phone call? I wonder who's fucking my wife. So that's my bad. And no, I, I don't forget, Gary, I don't forget how you emptied our bank accounts. We knew I needed that money, Wendy. You knew I needed it. And Yo. I very, very much that you did that by yourself, that you did that in a vacuum. In fact, the satisfying sound of your lover smacking the pavement <laughs> gets me super bad. That's my nigga. Yo, he snapped. All right, nigga. We're not husband and wife no more. We're business partners, nigga. We gotta move this cash, nigga. What the fuck? I don't give a fuck about none of this other shit. How about the towel? You just leave him outside of the door. Yo, lazy ass, nigga. Go over there and get them damn towels. What the fuck is wrong with you? No, race. She traipses out a bunch of colored folks mad over what? Colored folks. And one of them is you need money to make money. Facts. Um, and I could be that money. I bet it would feel a lot better if I wasn't just an investor and I was also a client. Uh, I'm looking for storage space myself, so um, where are you going? What about our business arrangement? What arrangement? You rented storage for me into storage. You bitch. Oh, you a bitch. Crazy. Fuck him. <laughs> Fucking dead. That was funny. Oh uh, shit. Bro, fuck this town, bro. This town is too old fashioned, bro. Don't nobody want their businesses to boom, bro. They like it shitty the way it is. Like, I don't understand. We're from Chicago. My dad's in finance, but clearly he's just cheap. You see, I would have never told him where I'm from already. Fuck no. Y'all like niggas need better stay right there. Where y'all? Dad said to stay here. I think that uh, a higher caliber dancer would definitely translate. <laughs> real <laughs> shit. That's real <laughs> shit, man. Can't have beautiful women on your payroll? I don't think so. That's a real nigga, bro. I won't let him. Plain James with a work ethic. You won't let him. That's my sweet spot right there. 
freak bait. And Jerry's working on number four. Two and a half percent. Sorry? My cut. We're washing your money. Hey! Don't you blame me, Mr. Bird. Got me a real big temper. You do not want to see it get away from me. We're done here. It was built in 75. Oh hell no, I'm not living in no house that was built in 75. Of Lake Front. I know somebody had to die in that motherfucker. Shit. <laughs> what is he thinking about right now? Is he thinking about suicide? What, what is he thinking right now? These dumb motherfuckers, man. I can't believe she went with them. You just met these dudes. Like, what the fuck? I've got a year. 18 months tops. He's a dothead. I better not get ever no, get no news like that. Sorry. I don't want to know when my death's going to be. You feel me? I don't. That shit could be an hour from now. Let it be. But I don't want to know. Your heart. A year? Yo, she's not shit. My nigga, she ain't shit for that. Look at this shit. So dumb ass. So dumb ass. That's what the fuck you get. Trusting motherfuckers you just met. What? Get the fuck out of here. Oh, if I'm her father, bro, I'm coming for his ass. And what are you doing? Patrolling these streets and shit. What the fuck? I was about to say, you know, they privileged. You know, they ain't never been through shit. They they don't know what's going on. They just going to beat kids and do what they do. Fuck that. They're smart and it's not smart. Shit. $1,575 for propeller. Dang Got me serious. fucked up. I'm not paying shit. Your daughter and her, trust me when I tell you they can't afford to pay. And so what you think we going to pay? A guessing game, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Can I try? Please. Um, I'm thinking that arresting the white trash that almost killed my daughter uh. and extracting the truth is hard time consuming work. Uh. Well, my guess is that this all comes down to simple run of the mill laziness. Mm. I fuck with him, yo. <laughs> he on one. Now, I would think that folks would be very valuable around here. Do they pay taxes? We she on one. She on one right now. Okay. Word. She playing her role. Man. Good shit. <laughs> somebody gonna die tonight. I don't give a fuck. No. Somebody gonna die. And they left some... Oh, they gonna die. Nah. They, I, they had the audacity. Bro, you need to give me my money, bro. You ain't got a gun? What's wrong with you, bro? The second them cartel niggas started li um let you live, bro, you should've went and got a gun. What the fuck? We got as much brought to it as he does. No, you do not. That is my money and I'm taking it. So Nigga, what's up? Nah. They gonna give me my money. I ain't, nah. Okay. Fuck all that. What do you think you're gonna do with all of that cash? Can't That's a bar. That's mine. And technically, I'm only responsible for it. Whose money is it? Technically. Oh, you wanna know? His name is Omar Navarro. Does that mean anything to you? No. Nope. Well, it should. But he's Omar Navarro. He's the guy you need to worry about. Who is <laughs> Omar Navarro? Omar. Don't worry about that. The only question you guys need to be asking is, are you murderers? You steal that money, you're going to have to kill me. It's a fact. Who works Real with shit. Followers. At which point, he's going to find someone with your last name and start removing their skin and <laughs> the rest of you. So Yo, he's stabbing right now. now. Once all, I fuck with him. You know, case could be made that the disappearance of Mr. Bird and the redistribution of this money constitutes a good thing. The big mouth. Who's the weak link with the big mouth and dates the trashy women and drinks too much or the trashy men? Who is it? Who's the irresponsible one that's going to burn through theirs in like five years? That's a bar. He's snapping. I'm asking you for a little bit of yours, and what are you going to tell that person? Ooh. You going to tell them no? What happens then? Oh, rat you out for stealing the money and killing me. But don't forget, for all this to work, you gotta kill me. Real shit. <laughs> That's real, man. We're 
We're taking twenty thousand. Get twenty. Bro, you got me so fucked up. You ain't getting a dime. Trouble. And this one here, this the smart one, I guess. Tough too. Why do I have this feeling we both know that you'd be better off dead? Mmm, that's a bar. Alright. Bro, what the fuck going on, bro? I knew it earlier. That's what he was thinking. I could spot that shit, bro. Oh. But he's still thinking about it. That's why he had the fucking dream. Mm. If I'm dead, we have something. It's simple. What? It you see, bruh. Me. And if he knows that I'm dead, I don't think that he. I mean, he's got no reason to. Uh, he's stupid. He's gonna kill all of y'all. He's gonna kill your whole family. What the fuck? I don't know how many times I had to stay up with motherfuckers because they were gonna kill themselves. You feel me? Like, they were on suicide watch, all that type of shit. <laughs> He's still trying to think. Yo, this man is wild. I can't believe he contemplating this shit right now. Good. So dumbass. Smart enough. You gotta take care of your damn family. Yeah, we know, stupid. No suggestions on how to improve it. I invest in people, not businesses. I work for people that. And I know money. I know. He's playing psychological games with her ass. I know how to get it. Mm. I have it. And I'm willing to invest it in you. I don't need you for that, Morty. Because I can fuck things up all by myself. <laughs> he got to make something work, bro. This. this... Tuck, you are without a doubt the biggest retard I've ever seen. What? Bro, watch your mouth. I don't fuck with that, man. With yeah, I don't you fuck with that. You can't use that word ever. I don't like when people fuck with people that you tell me what I can and can't say. Ain't gonna fuck with them back. You feel me? I don't, I don't like that. You're praying on the weak. I don't like that shit. Fuck with someone that's gonna fuck with you. I mean, why does he have to feel bad just so you can feel good? <laughs> now he try to put out a show to get her to like him. Disrespect this whole place. He gonna get his ass beat up right now. Tolerate it. He took it for the team. <laughs> he had to do what he had to do, man. Now I want you to apologize to that young man. Some real right. shit. He making a show, but it's you real though. Redneck. Cocksucker. Mm. Oh yeah, he gonna sock you. Bop. Mom, what are we doing here? Your father's laundering money for a Mexican drug cartel. I shit you not. Hello, How the fuck would you tell them that? That was Ozark, man. Season 1, episode 2. Yo. A lot of shit happened in this episode, man. The homie Mark, Marty, he went out, you know, looking for many different businesses and establishments to, you know, Invest in to launder the money, you feel me? And all of these fucking businesses, none of these people want any new additions or anything new in their in their business. They like that it's shitty. They like that nobody comes in there. Like, so I don't know. They too old school. Like I'm an old school cat, but that shit is just I don't know. That's crazy. But uh, so he's getting no um, he has no one that wants to work back with him. You feel me? Um, now with this chick at the end, after doing what he did, you know, which was a, a right thing to do, you feel me, he stuck up for the retarded kid, whatever, he stuck up for him or whatever, and that was the right thing to do, but I don't like when people, like I said earlier, I don't like when people fuck with people that ain't gonna fuck with them back, you feel me, there's no purpose in that, like why are you doing that, I'm pretty sure he's gonna get in with her, 
but uh, at that business, but I don't think that's enough, yo. He got to get a couple of other spots because that's not going to be enough for that eight million. So hopefully we see that in the upcoming episodes. The fucking kids, man, they got to fucking grow up, and they better grow up after hearing what the fuck they just heard. Cause, bro, what if everything was taken? What if all that, the whole eight mil was gone, stolen from that room, and? He couldn't figure out and he couldn't find that money again. Like, what if that really happened? They would all be dead. <laughs> that would be the end of the story. Like, come on. But, uh, so they got to smarten up. Definitely after hearing that. And she's stupid. Why the fuck did she say that? I get saying it to the 15-year-old, like, behind closed doors. I would have put her on game and let her know. Just so she could be smart and moving forward, you feel me? But the little one? I don't know how old that kid, the, the son is, but I would have never told him that shit. He's probably going to go crazy. Yo, fuck them niggas that took the money in the first place. They would have all been dead. I'm not playing with you. And I would have got every dime back. And niggas left off with 20000 You what? You're not leaving a dime. Ain't none of this my money. You feel me? And even if it was my money, you ain't getting shit. So I'm not. He needs to get a gun, bro. I don't care. He, he has to roll around strap because the business that he's into right now, people going to be coming for his ass. Like regular people, like they're going to be coming for his ass because they're going to find out what he has and what he's doing and they're going to want what he got. So, no, nah, I ain't rocking with none of that. He got to be safe, you feel me, and protect his family. The one chick that was with them people that uh stole his shit, the girl or whatever, she seems smart and she's tough a little bit. So, I'm curious to see what's going to happen with that relationship moving forward. Is she gonna start working for them? We'll see. Yo, my favorite scene, I don't give a fuck. My favorite scene was when the the wife and the um and Marty was talking and she brought up that the dude uh, the uh, dude she was cheating on him with or whatever died and he had kids and all this other shit. He was like, hey yo, I don't give a fuck about none of this. We are not husband and wife no more. We are business partners, my nigga. There ain't no um, late night text or where are you, did it. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. We got to move this money or we're all dead. You feel me? So I, that was my favorite thing. I fucked with that. And uh, yeah, man, this was dope. Uh, the fucking daughter got to be less trusting. That was fucking wild. You just went off with this kid on a boat and you don't even know him and all this other shit. That's stupid. <laughs> you feel me? But whatever. Uh, and yeah, man. This, this was dope, man. I'm kidding. Yo, this suicide shit fucked me up, though. Like, I knew that was going to happen because I, I could spot signs in that shit, bro. Like, when I was in the military, I've been on suicide watch with plenty of dudes, bro. Plenty of cats that were gonna kill themselves and I had to stay up with them and shit. So it's a real serious thing, man. Suicide is real. It's one of the saddest things to do in life, you feel me? Or to experience, you feel me? So I don't know, man. I don't, I don't fuck with that. I've, I've had my moments. This is a personal moment I'm gonna, I'm gonna share with you. I've had my moments where I wanted to be, to die, you feel me? I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't commit no act or whatever but i've had moments where i felt like you know fuck this shit, i don't want to be but you know i kept pushing forward you feel me that's all you gotta do you feel me this is life nigga <laughs> everything ain't gonna always be good and everything ain't gonna always be bad but yeah man that's all i got to share for today man this was a dope episode i'm fucking with it shout out to all my subscribers i appreciate all all of y'all and i hope everyone's safe man stay safe and be smart out here you feel me and that's it man Peace.